Welcome back everybody to a new episode of PCT Garage. Today we're going to be working on 2004 Ford Focus Wagon and today what we're going to be doing is the valve cover gasket. Now the reason we're doing the valve cover gasket is got a little bit of an oil leak. You can see right there on the heat shield of the exhaust manifold. It's a little dirty. It's got some oil that's seeping out. You can kind of see it. Uh, get the light to where it's not shining directly on it. It's a little moist around the valve cover gasket um, right here you can see it's a little wet coming off the valve cover itself and so we just need to replace the gasket on that so we're gonna go ahead and replace the gasket we're gonna clean up the residual oil that's been dripping out and that's gonna be it pretty simple episode um, valve cover gasket is not very hard on this car you have these eight millimeter bolts that are scattered around um, you have to remove those. You have a front cover. It's got a bolt here and one on the other side and that pulls apart. There might be one more down there. We'll find out. Pull the front cover off. Um, basically you just need to move this throttle cable a little bit out of the way but you can wiggle it in and out. And we're going to go ahead and remove the spark plug wires because we have to pull the cover off and so these are in there. Um, remove this hose that goes to the air box. And that's basically it. Um, nothing else really needs to be removed. Uh, we can leave the air intake pipe intact. Um, and yeah, everything else is pretty much going to stay where it's at. The only other thing when doing a valve cover gasket, and I'm going to go ahead and go over this later, is when the, like where you have the head that connects to the front part, there's going to be a little bit of black silicone that we have to put on there because the gasket itself doesn't quite cover that full range. So there'd be a little bit of oil that could seep out. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of black silicone on it too. That way we just kind of cover ourselves just in case the gasket when it's compressed doesn't quite fit that void. So that's going to be it. So I hope you'll look forward to this episode and let's get at it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the bolts. Um, all of the all of the bolts are eight, except for this one. That one's going to be a 10 just because it's holding a heat shield. So we're going to remove that nut on top of the heat shield. Um, the other part of the heat shield is behind this, so we may have to loosen that. I believe it doesn't completely need to be pulled out, but we do need a 13 for that. So we're going to go ahead and get the rest of them kind of loose. Get our wobble socket with an eight. Now there is a particular tightening pattern and it's gonna be in a star pattern um, with the idea of going from the inside out. So it'll kind of be like one, two, um, three, four, and then we'll kind of do the corners and then these. So it's not super precise, but um, you do want the gasket to seat evenly. And so if you were to start here and roll over this way, this side would be a lot tighter than this side. So we're gonna remove our spark plug wires. We're just gonna kind of throw them down here. Get them a little bit out of the way, but not disconnect them all the way. So we're just gonna shove them down here. Um, not recommended if the engine is hot because you don't want the wires themselves to burn, but this engine's cooled off. So there's that. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and clean up the gasket or the, uh, the valve cover while it's off the car because, you know, as you can see, there's debris in there and we don't want to have any of that go in our spark plug holes or the valley. So yeah, so we're going to remove all these bolts. Like I said, we have front cover bolts that we need to remove as well. I believe it's just two that hold this on. So. Move all these. Bolts are a little oil slicked. See, one way to tell outside of a visual inspection of your valve cover gasket leaking. Um, in my case, because it was leaking on the manifold itself, heat shield, I could smell it whenever I had the air vent on and you know, the window's shut. So since it's been colder, you don't really need to use AC. So you kind of just have the fresh air being pulled from the engine bay. And I smelt a slight oil smell, which triggered me to think, hey, I might have an oil leak. And um, sure enough, I do. So that could be an indication that you have a valve cover gasket leak or some sort of other oil leak that might be dripping on your exhaust manifold. 
right, so we have this front cover bolt right here. A little bit smaller. And then we have another one over here. We're actually gonna use a ratchet wrench on that one. And that may be, this feels like we have one down there too. Yeah, we have one down there too. So, try to show y'all. Down here, might not be able to see, there's another bolt on the cover. And there might be a fourth bolt. Yeah, it feels like there's a fourth bolt underneath where this reservoir is. So, not a huge deal. Um, might be able to get it with our extension wobble socket. And if we can't, then we will just remove the power steering uh, reservoir that just pulls it up and we can even remove this if need be. We might be able to squeeze in there. It's hard to uh, see. It's hard to feel. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to end up just moving this out of the way so I have more more room. So that is a 10. So we're going to grab our 10 millimeter. And then it's got a clip on this side. It just kind of pulls up. Take this clip off. And then we're just gonna kinda tilt that out of the way just until we get the bolt out and then we're gonna put it back. So now we have a little bit more clearance to get that bolt out of the front cover. And that is not an eight, is that a 10? Or am I just not getting square on it? No, I'm just not getting square on it. Oh, I have the 10 on there. Okay, it is an eight. I have a 10 on there, so. I was gonna say, it's not the... It's not quite catching. Yeah, we need a ratchet wrench for that. Or, what I'm going to do is just pull this off. So this just has these little rubber feet. You just kind of wiggle it up, pulls out of the way. And we're just going to get that out of the way enough to remove this bolt from the front cover. Okay. So those four bolts. That should be everything. Oh, you know what? This doesn't want to move. Okay, so we're just going to keep that loose. We don't need to remove it all the way because we have to pull it out, but we have to remove the engine mount if we want to pull this out without forcing it. As you can see, it's a little tight in there. So we're just going to keep that loose so we can get the valve cover off. I'm going to go ahead and move my power steering or my reservoir back from my coolant. So that should be everything except for this 13. All right, so we're gonna take this 13 loose. Have to remove this one too. Remove this bracket and then put that right here this is also a 13. Yeah. So once we loosen that, this heat shield should just pull right out. So as you can see, 
the heat shield just has this little cutout that goes right in here, right around this engine bracket. So I'm going to put that down. And all of those bolts that I just removed were a 13. Now this is also an 8, but you need a deep socket so you can get over those threads. And then the whole valve cover should lift off. Move this hose. There we go. A little tight. Like I said, there's some silicone. So I'm going to pull that off. Turn it over. I'm going to get some of that icky stuff out. So here's the old valve cover gasket. See, so you had a little bit of silicone on there seems that the gasket itself didn't quite seal very well. Fortunately on this, it doesn't look like we need black silicone because there is no separation of the head. Um, normally, this is pretty ugly. We're going to have to clean all that off. We're going to have to clean that off so it has a good seal. And then put the new gasket on. So normally what I'm talking about is there's like a front cover where you can see a... Oops, where the, the head has a split. Um, and it'll be like a piece that bolts directly to the front. This one doesn't have that, so thankfully we don't have to put any silicone down. We're going to clean all this up. So I'm going to get a razor blade and just scrape it. Um, kind of going parallel with the surface. Uh, then I'm going to wipe it all down. We're going to set the new one up. And then we'll go ahead and put the valve cover back on. So when you have a razor blade, what you're going to want to do is run it almost to where it's parallel with the plane itself. And that way you can just scrape all of the silicone off. And then we're just going to discard that. So you can see it's really picking up. I'm going to kind of get it all out of the engine. You don't want it falling in your oil passages, clogging it up potentially. If this surface isn't clean, there's potential that you won't have a good seal. Okay, so that is the majority of the valve cover mating surface cleaned. So we're going to go ahead and work on the valve cover itself. And then we will begin our installation of the gasket and the cover. So the old gasket just pulls right out. Not too, not too bad. We are going to go ahead and spray it down with brake clean just to make sure that there's not any, you know, particulates that we're going to be dumping right back into the engine. 
So I'm going to grab brake clean and a bucket so that I can spray this into it. Okay, so we have our valve cover, we have some brake clean. I'm just going to spray it in the little channel to make sure everything's out. Please wear safety glasses when you're doing this. As you can see, the brake clean is just popping right back out. And brake clean in the eye is not a fun time. All right, so that's pretty clean. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the front as well. Just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and wipe it down. So we just wanted to get any sort of debris that was in there that may have been blocked. Yeah, like you can see, still a little bit of silicone. So you want to kind of, you know, run. So we got some silicone here. We don't want anything that could cause an obstruction for the gasket to seat properly. So we're just going to check all on the channel, make sure it's all out, wipe it down a little bit, kind of let it dry. Wipe off this inner channel, make sure there's no debris in there. You can see there's just residual oil. That's caked up on my valve cover. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a screwdriver. I'm gonna drop my wrench. I'm just, it's probably obnoxiously loud. want it all clean. Doesn't have to be spotless. Um, we're basically just making sure that there's no excess debris that was going to fall into our engine since it's kind of exposed right now. All right, so this side looks decent. This side wet still but that should be okay um, all right so we're gonna install our new gasket grab it so there's really only one way for it to install I'm gonna lay it up on there and walk it through the channels You don't want to be too rough with it. And you can see, it might be hard to see, but like has these little divots to, to line up like alignment points. So basically you're just going to want to align it with that. And that just makes sure that you're not stretching any part of the gasket out because it is a rubber, so it can get stretched out.
Okay, give it a once over to make sure everything's flat in there. It's got little grooves to make sure that it doesn't pop out. I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. Make sure all these alignment joints are secure. Everything's pressed in to prevent it from falling out. I'm just gonna run my thumb around it, just kind of pushing on all the different areas, checking it from different angles. Okay, looks pretty good. So as you can see, it fits in very well. So we'll flip it over and we're gonna lift up the throttle cable. I'm gonna have to kind of work it in there. There's a bunch of stuff that wants to uh, prevent us from laying it down flat. This little ground strap. All right, so I'm gonna, now that it's on there, what I like to do is barely lift it up to make sure nothing fell out. Last thing you want is having installed this to then find out that a piece fell out and it's not going to seal. Alright, so that's on. Bolt holes are basically lined up. I'm going to put this one in first. I'm not going to tighten it. That's just so I remember that that one goes there. Once all the bolts are in their home, we'll begin the tightening sequence. Okay. So again, we'll start from this one. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna basically go until they catch and then we'll go through and tighten them up in sequence because we want everything to kind of squish the valve cover a little bit before it actually seats. Remember this one needs a deep socket. Then we'll do the inside ones here. And then we're going to go four corners. Looks like I missed a little bit of gasket or uh, silicone. Okay. Now that the gasket's seated, we're gonna go ahead and tighten all these up until they feel pretty tight, and then we're gonna go through and just do one more sequence. And what we're doing is just seating the gasket fully without causing one part of it to be too tight and the other parts of it not to be able to tighten up. Now, if you have like a Chilton's or Haynes manual or a Ford guide, I'm sure there is a particular order that they tell you to go in. So I may not have started at the correct one, but it is going to be inside out and then the four corners. Just so that the gasket can see it all the way. Oop. Now that everything is there, I'm going to go ahead and do the final torque sequence.
Okay. Glove covers on. First thing I'm going to do is put these back so I don't forget them. Easy enough because they all just kind of fall into their home as long as they don't have the uh, wires going cuckoo. That is done. Those wires are back. Next thing I'm going to do is put the heat shield back. Slides over on the back of that bolt. Oh, that's the wrench that fell. Oop. Yeah. When you loosen this bracket, Make sure it's not touching your heat shield on your exhaust manifold because it will make a bad, bad rattle. I know from first-hand experience. So when we get this bolt lined up, the back side, before I tighten it up, I'm going to go ahead and lift up on it. That way this pipe doesn't have a resonance when it is uh, contacting the heat shield. So just lifting it up, I'm tightening that. There we go, and then I'll tighten this nut. And I'll just verify that it's out of the way. So it's out of the way. All right, next thing we have to do is replace our four front cover bolts. So it's pretty straightforward. The ones that are kind of down you may have to feel for shouldn't be too bad one more all right we're gonna move our reservoirs out of the way we're gonna get our eight millimeter and we're gonna tighten all four of them up four on the last thing we need to do is put our power steering reservoir back all right that just slides into place and then put our coolant reservoir back and again that is a 10 on tighten that up and do not forget to put your clamp back and that's it the only other thing that we can do is we're gonna spray down wherever there's residual oil just so that um, we don't have any more burning oil and if there is a new leak or we didn't do the valve cover gasket correctly we'll see the new oil seeping out
wet down all the residual moisture um, I almost forgot this hose don't forget to put this back that will be a huge vacuum leak your car will not run very well if that is disconnected so slides back on and now we're done so that concludes our valve cover gasket install on our 2004 forward focus as you can see we have all the parts put back together the valve cover itself has been put on um, we got the gasket lined up and everything so not too bad of a job um, the main thing is to make sure that your valve cover gasket uh, where it's going to lay on the cylinder head itself is clean so that way it has a good seal um, verification of this repair is no more oil leak from that particular channel but that's about it so i hope you all enjoyed this episode uh, leave a comment below if you liked it or if there's a question that you might have give it a like if you liked it and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet we have more content coming soon look forward to sharing that with you See you in the next one.